Welcome everyone to the Franklin Whole Home Podcast. I'm here today with our product manager, Jay-Z, or Jay Zargami, the original Jay-Z. Right, how are you doing? <laughs> Hi everyone. We're here today, we're gonna to be talking about all things NEM and NBT. Yep. You wanna specify the actual title? NBT is Net Billing Tariff, uh, sort of historically affectionately known as NEM 3.0 in California but it's officially the net, net billing tariff. So for those of you who haven't seen our white paper yet, we released something called the NBT white paper and it's on our website. It goes through all the financials of, of the value of the whole Franklin Home Power solution. How do you define NBT? How do you start with that? Well, the history of interconnected PV systems in California started off with net metering, net energy metering, which is where customers PV system, if they don't use the energy while it's being produced off the roof in the home, then it's got to go somewhere and it historically has just gone out to the grid and the utility would give a one for one exchange. If they charge you a dollar for power coming into your home, they would credit you a dollar for power that went out. And that was in the early days, but once more people started getting solar, they changed that exchange rate. So they're not giving you that same retail rate exchange. So NEM 1.0, evolved to NEM 2.0, where it was more restrictive. They weren't giving as much of a credit for it. And now as grid management has become more and more of an exercise in you know, just managing the grid properly uh, and equitably for everyone involved, including the utility, as well as homeowners and, and just making things kind of more uh, sustainable in the long term. NEM 3.0 or net billing tariff officially is what Californians are having to work with now. And, and the exchange rate on that is really skewed to disincentivize any homeowners with PV to export that extra uh, energy to the grid or extra power to the grid. So it just doesn't make financial sense to export any of that system to the grid anymore. So that's why you get a much better financial return, that value proposition for batteries in your home is, is much greater. And so it's now a necessary part of any new PV system. 